Bailey with the Courier Journal. We're here today with Patrick Roney, the executive chef of Harvest, and he is making us one of the dishes on July 11th Sierra Nevada dinner here. What is it? Uh, we we're making a citrus cured uh, Lake Barkley silver carp. Uh, okay. So this is a fish that's, uh, that's locally uh, caught. It's uh, down in Lake Barkley. We have this wonderful uh, beer, Otrevez. This beer, it's a ghost style from Sierra mm -hmm. Nevada. It's really light and crisp and just a really nice, refreshing mm -hmm. beer. I'm going to start with this beautiful piece of fish. We're going to take the knife and just go really flat and just bring it right across and do some nice little thin slices. And so you can see it's almost see-through. It's, it's paper thin. Roll in the citrus on it, and you want to mm -hmm. get just the outer uh, peel of the citrus and you kind of tap it and it'll fall in there. So you can do a little bit more lemon then we've got a uh, lime and an orange over there. I'll show you a quick easy way of cutting citrus that you get the most juice. So I'm coming to that tip here and I'm cutting coming right off center about uh, about a quarter inch. Okay. We'll do one little edge of the orange. If you just take with the lemon and lime and you're just gonna Go right over top. This is a, uh, a Brittany sea salt from France. It's crunchy and coarse. And, um, and so what we're basically doing is, is slightly curing it. So we're gonna let that sit. And so I would go ahead and do that about an hour ahead of time. We're gonna use uh, some fresh jalapeno. Of course, everything um, that we're using is, is grown locally, except for the citrus. We've got a uh, tomato here. Beautiful, and this is from Hart County, Kentucky. Just gonna take that little pit out of there. And then I'm just gonna do a, uh, a quick little dice on this guy. And then I've got cucumber as well. And so I will uh, kind of do the same thing, a nice little dice. I don't want the seeds in there because um, sometimes they give you those that weird burpy thing. <laughs> uh, so we're no just gonna, we're gonna get rid of the seeds. <laughs> Nobody wants that. And then we're just gonna do a quick dice on that. That's, uh, that's the makings of a really nice little fresh <laughs> salsa. And we're just gonna take a little bit of this citrus and go in there. All my leftover stuff that I didn't use in the salsa, I'm gonna go ahead and uh -huh. drop right in a blender. And then um, we're gonna take the Otro Vez. We've got the beer in there. I'm gonna take a little bit of, um, this is a, uh, a lemon avocado oil, and I'm just gonna put just a touch in there. Start it off low and get everything kind of working together there. And then I'm going to give that a nice blend. I'm going to pour this through uh, a china cap that's lined with a little bit of cheesecloth. Okay. And so what we're basically making is like an Otrovez and tomato water. Another element in this, and this is a, um, a wheat berry. We're going to go a little bit more of our Special stuff. Special oil. <laughs> a little bit of seasoning. I'm going to do some fresh cilantro. And with this, I, I want to keep the, the leaf nice and big because it'll give off nice flavor. So I'll just okay. pick them apart kind of with my fingers like that. We're going to take this and kind of not beat it up so much, but <laughs> let the flavors really come out of that. So I want to leave some of that liquid out yeah. because we're going to be pouring our liquid with the beer right, right. here into this. Okay. And so I'm going to kind of strain that out. I've got a little bit of a cilantro oil, uh, almost like a pesto, that I'm just going to use a little paintbrush and a nice little swipe there okay. just to give that bowl a little effect. Take our marinated fish and then I, you can see I just kind of fold it around my fingers and leave that citrus side out and drop it in there. Strain this off. And then we're gonna take this and we're gonna just drizzle that in there. Okay. And so you end up with almost a ceviche salsa, yeah. wheat berry. Uh, you know, it's, it kind of has a lot of different uh, elements going on okay. with it. I'll let you be the, uh, the first taste. It's really good. Now taste it with a beer. Okay. It's a pretty good fit, I have to say. All right, should we cheers? I think so. <laughs> that's it's, the spirit. That's the spirit. Cheers.